this video, we're going to convert percent notation to fraction notation and vice versa. And so th the steps to kind of go through if you're converting from fractions to percents is first change the fraction to a decimal. And to do that, simply just divide, divide them out. Uh, the second step is to move the decimal point to the right two places. And so if you have a repeating decimal, you at least want to take it out a couple of places before you move the decimal place. Okay, so I've got three examples here. I will also be making use uh, of a calculator, and it's just a basic calculator. You don't really need that big of a calculator to do these problems. And so 5 eighths, if you divide 5 by 8, you're going to get 0 0.625. And if you move the decimal place, that's step 1, move the decimal place to the to the right, two spots, that's the same as kind of uh, dividing by 0 0.01 to convert backwards. And so we're just going to move the decimal point here. And that's going to give us 62.5%. And because this decimal stops, we don't have to worry about repeating the decimal in a percentage. On this next example, it would be best if you convert this into a, a, a mixed or an improper fraction first. It is a mixed number. However, if you could recognize two thirds as a fraction and its decimal equivalent, then it's 1.6, the six repeating. Now, again, we want to take this out a couple spots. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this out a couple spots, and then apply my rule and just move the decimal place over two spots to the right. And this is 166.6 with the 6 repeating percent. Uh, another way to write it is 166 and 2 thirds percent. You can also put the, two, the, uh, the 0.6 with the 6 repeating down back into the 2 thirds fraction, but you've converted it into percent. Before you do that, you have to work the decimal out to a couple of different places or a couple of places. Okay, for this final one, I'm going to go ahead. Now I have to use the calculator here because I don't really remember exactly what the decimal expansion for two sevenths is. So please pardon me. I'm going to go ahead and put this in as two divided by seven, and that's going to give me two eight five seven one four. Okay, so we have 0 0.285714. That whole thing gets repeated. Okay, so what we're going to have to do then is we're going to have to take it out at least two more places, just like the others. So I'm going to put 285714, and it repeats. So 28, I took it out two more places. So now I know that this repeats. And so I'm going to take this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this decimal point and move it over to the right two spots. That gives me 28.571428, the other 8, the kind of 8 that has an 8 on it. And that whole section repeats, and this is a percent. Okay, so now, if you are really interested in changing that back, that looks a lot like oh, 4 sevenths. And so if we come back to our handy dandy calculator, we'll put in 4 divided by 7 just to check it. And uh, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 8, yes. So this is 4 sevenths. And so you can rewrite this as 28 and 4 sevenths percent. Now, if we want to go backwards, this is a little different. In fact, it's different in that we're just going to simply work backwards. So it says to convert from percent to fraction. We're going to write the percent without the percent sign. And then we're going to write as the numerator of a fraction. And then we're going to write 100 as the denominator. So if we just apply step one to all of these, I'm going to take, and again, you want to take, whenever you see a repeater, you take it out a couple spots. And so it's just going to be 125 over 100 on the, as far as that first step. And it says simplify as necessary. 
this is very dependent on uh, exactly who you're working with and, and what you need to be doing. If you're going to simplify the fraction, it will simplify. This is, by the way, has uh, there's quarters and a dollar and a quarter, and there's quarters and a hundred. So divide by 25, top and bottom. That'll give us five quarters to make 125. Or this is one and one quarter as a mixed number. And so it's just it's very dependent on what you're being asked to do. If you are simply working with this in a, in a practical matter on your own and you don't care which, very typically this first fraction is going to be plenty and just take it out to a couple decimal places just for good measure. So 10 and then with the 3 repeating is going to be 10.33 and, and I put this on here because when I divide by 100 what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up moving the decimal place over and so this is going to be as a fraction. This really doesn't go as a fraction, but it would be something like 10 and 1 third, 200. That's really it. Or if you want, you multiply both top and bottom by 3. Uh, this will give you 31 over 300. Again, it's very dependent on what you're being asked to do. For this final one, 0.5% is 0.5 per 100, or this is the same as if I multiply uh, both top and bottom by 2, then I get 1 per 200. Okay, and so that second step, that simplify if necessary, that's very dependent on what your instructor is, is looking for. Most often, Simply just the conversion itself is a great plenty.